what is your favorite solution? Lemonade is probably one of my favorite solutions. What is a solution, you may ask? A solution is a mixture of substances in a uniform phase of matter, such as a solid, liquid, or gas. In biology, we are usually dealing with liquid or gas mixtures when we are talking about solutions. Regardless of the phase, there will always be two main parts in a solution, the substance or substances that are dissolved, and the substance doing the dissolving. The substance that is being dissolved is called the solute and the substance that is doing the dissolving is called the solvent. When we are dealing with the liquid solution, the solvent is the liquid with the greatest volume. The solute in a liquid solution may often start as a solid, but through the process of dissolving, the solute becomes a part of the liquid solution. If we go back to my favorite solution, lemonade, well, the lemon juice and the sugar are being dissolved into the water. The water is the solvent. The other components are the solutes. In biology, pretty much every liquid solution that we deal with will have water as the solvent. We call these solutions aqueous solutions. A mixture of gases can also be considered a solution. Our atmosphere is a great example of this. This is a picture that I took in Israel a few summers ago. Now I don't want you to focus on the camel, but instead, the sky. The most abundant gas in our atmosphere is nitrogen gas. Present in lesser amounts are carbon dioxide and oxygen gas. Water vapor, water in gas form, can also be a component of the atmosphere in the form of humidity. For our atmosphere, nitrogen gas is considered the solvent because it is the most abundant of the components. The other components are solutes. Now gases and liquids have a few special properties due to the movement of their molecules. Both gases and liquids conform to the shape of their container and will participate in diffusion. Now this first property is the reason that when you fill a glass with water from the sink, the water takes on the shape of the inside of the glass instead of keeping the shape of the water pipes. This is also the reason that you don't need to worry about walking into a part of the classroom that has no air in it. The atmosphere conforms to the shape of the container, in this case, the classroom. The next property of a liquid or gas is that of diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of a component of a solution from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Concentration is a ratio between the amount of a substance present divided by the volume. This can often be thought of as a ratio comparing the amount of solute divided by the amount of solvent. In the same way, if we are saying that there is a high concentration of solute, then there is a low concentration of solvent in that area, and vice versa. When an item is first added to a solution, it will be in a higher concentration where it was added compared to the rest of the solution where it has not yet mixed. That substance will move to evenly distribute itself through the solution. This is diffusion. As an example, if you have a large glass of water and add a single drop of food coloring to it, initially there will be more dye molecules where the drop landed. But over time, the dye will be evenly distributed throughout the solution. This movement of the dye molecules is simply due to the fact that the water and dye molecules are moving randomly. There is no extra energy required to achieve an equal distribution. So why are solutions so important for biology? Well, every cell is filled with an aqueous solution known as the cytoplasm. Dissolved in this solution are all of the components that the cell needs to function, amino acids, ATP, sugars, and other important molecules. The environment that a cell is surrounded by is also usually an aqueous solution. The barrier between a cell and its environment is the selectively permeable plasma membrane, made of a bilayer of phospholipid molecules. Here are a few concept questions to see if you understood some of the main points of this video. These questions are answerable on the course website.
the portion of the solution that is dissolved into the other portions is known as the solute, solvent, soluble, solemn, salutation. Extra energy must be added to a solution for diffusion to occur. True or false? The most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere is oxygen gas, carbon dioxide, nitrogen gas, water vapor, or none of these molecules are present in the atmosphere. And now for your enjoyment. I'm glad that I'm not soluble, that would be quite bad. Glad that I'm not soluble, that would make me sad. sad. If I found that I was soluble, it would be a pain. Couldn't go outside to see if it began to rain. If I woke up soluble, I'd have to shake and cower. An abject terror every time that I walk past the shower. Glad that I'm not soluble, that would be quite bad. Glad that I'm not soluble, that would make me sad. So sad.